Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, just remember to subscribe to more videos. Um, I guess basically, you know, there is one video that I'm still making, but it's been a couple weeks, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me some time, but another one will come up. Um, but I'm gonna shoot another one. Um, today, as you can probably see in the title, I'm getting coilovers, yeah. So excited, so pumped. Um, I know, I was trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, I ended up going for the cheaper option because I want to do some other stuff um, to this car. Um, and yeah, that's what I decided. I basically was tossing up between getting bags or getting coils. Um, doing all the research and everything, it's gonna cost me about five grand to just get it. Um, not install or nothing, I have to do that all myself, but I was cool with that because of content. Um, but yeah, decided to go for coilovers. So let's do some unboxing. Yeah, fragile stickers on it. Come on, come on. See what's in there. Let's do it. And yeah, we're decided as you can see. Got some tins, yeah. So, let's go. Yeah. Quality. Yeah, look, it's got comes with these, the tins, um, adjustables. Super cheap, thanks super cheap. Got a Tool Pro low profile trolley jack. It's gonna make things a lot easier. I also bought some car stands. I actually have some, but because I moved, I can't find them anymore. Cool, so I'm just gonna start jacking up this car, get it all ready, get the wheels off, and yeah, see how it go. Fun. Take my wheel off. It was a bit of a struggle because my my stand didn't go high enough and the jack stands those red things too high so had to make do anyway so all right so i'm taking out the shock and you can see there it's just that one bolt there one bolt but here, I need to take out this panel apparently. There's a screw underneath here. You can see it, just here, just here. And then this should come off. Yep, so I took the shock out. Yeah, it's out. Basically, what I did was had to take this off. This one, that, I don't know what it is, some control arm. I had to take this off. This is the end link for the sway bar. That goes into there, into this part. And then just take out the bottom bolt of the shock. And the top two, which is at the top. But it was a biatch to get out. So looking forward to the next one. So here's the rear shocks sorry coil over so I measured the old one just sitting over there the whole thing is 64 um, centimeters then I've just measured from here to here and that's 23 um, yeah 200 no 23.2 centimeters and they're the same on both on both so the preload is the same which is cool so I'm going to leave that as default and see how we go with that but now I'm going to see 
how much I can go with this. See how low it can go on there. And I'm gonna match it up with that. Cool. Time to put her on. Fun times. so this is day I don't know I had to leave the last one um, but this is the, the week after or the two weeks after um, and I finally did the rears but I'm doing the fronts now um, just ran out of time and it got dark so had a lot of issues but I'll explain that in probably in another video um, but yeah see how we go this is the fronts I'll show you how we do the fronts so this is the fronts Yep, so it's the fork um, suspension. So I'm thinking I'll just take that fold off, which is a, probably a 17. And take that bolt off there, just right there. And there is a center here, which is attached. Uh, I might have to take that off. So here we go, and then the bolt's at the top. So this is another day, um, basically it took ages and I went into the night to finish the suspension off, um, but yeah, I just wanted to wrap up that video, um, hopefully it was good, but um, yeah, see how we go, um, hope you liked the video, subscribe, comment, ask questions, happy to answer the questions, so yeah, that'd be awesome, see you guys for another video out.